Yeah, we are riding the line on water and power usage, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well today. So I turn this thing on. I'm gonna go broke, but it still doesn't produce any power. I don't understand what this problem is. So yeah, guys, we need a new name for our residential area right here, and one for our um, our commercial area right down here. So if anybody has ideas, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna come up with something kind of goofy, probably. Um, is there a way to turn off that stupid bird? I'm just curious. In game, asset art miscellaneous, tutorial messages, take those off. Auto open chirper messages, turn off. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see. The bodies are everywhere. Upper Sparkleton, okay. I got. How is someone dead already up there? It's been like two days since this place has been built up. Ugh. Yeah, it's still not. It's still not doing anything, guys. I'm just gonna have to destroy this building. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to sell it. The good news is we got our money back. Um, bad news, we don't have that damn anymore. You know what, guys? Also, someone uh, recommended this yesterday, and I didn't do it because I'm a goofball. I'm gonna go ahead and do a. Uh, I'm gonna do a relocate on this building up to here. Um. And the reason why is I don't want to be, and, and so the idea is now we don't have to, um, we can pull the water from, our water from floating point, and we don't have to worry about this pollution getting up there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you, we're going to go relocate. Let's do all of them, in fact. Okay. So now everyone's going to freak out because we don't have water for like a day, but, you know. There we go. Yeah, so that, 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 yeah, everyone's freaking out because of water. We know, we know. Just relax, guys. Yeah, so the good news is, though, now we can also, we can destroy these other power lines as well. Um... And also, that, that might help our, our general health as well, because now we're not pulling in the sludge water. Because the, the, uh, the sludge had gotten all the way up here, and we were starting to pull those in. Pull that in. And so I think we're going to be doing a little bit better for that now, which is good. We need something right here as well. I'm not sure what... I think they're probably just a little bit more industry, but uh, maybe like offices right on the water. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, so how are we doing? We're, we're getting a little bit of money. And so now there's a slight rise in the demand for industry. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna do some... Why don't we try doing like a forest zone right here? That'd be kind of fun. That's something I haven't done yet. Uh, I just don't know how that was going to work. I mean, we can get a road up there probably. Hmm. Hey, quick save! So let's go ahead and see, let's see if we can do it at the same location we got. Slope is too high, really? Up, up, up. Height is too high, okay. That's weird. Looks like it shouldn't have to be slopey at all. Why is it so slopey? Up. 
Not enough money. Okay, we don't have enough money or anything for that, so let's not worry about that, I guess. Oh, hey, here we go. Now we could we could go over there. That's not bad. Hmm. Golden District. So we have got Upper, Upper Sparkleton. We still need a name for our new commercial industry, though, guys. So if anybody has an idea, let me know. I like Upper Sparkleton, though, a lot. I like that one a lot. Mm. So let's see. Can we... Um, as you say, can we get a road up here from this intersection? Or from this intersection? Let's see here. I, I don't know that we can. I think that would just be too weird. We can, like maybe we can get up on this hill somehow. It's like a weird sparkle bottoms. <laughs> How is that slope too steep? You guys are jerks. It's too steep a slope. Okay. Dang it. Okay. It's such a bummer. Could do something like this, I guess. Maybe. Ooh, how about this? Why don't we go up the hill like this and then down? That's too steep. That's really steep. <laughs> That's really, really, really steep. That would be super awesome, but it's not. The game's not gonna let us do this. Whoa. We're only making eighty-eight dollars too. Yikes! Hmm. Why are we so broke? We could re redistrict Zinchenko's Landing for high end or for high. Uh, High residential. I don't know. How happy are my people, by the way? Not so happy. These guys are kind of pissed. Because they built a bunch of industry right on top of them. Not bad, though, really. Pollution. Yeah, this area is pretty bad. Well, we're all pretty good, though. Wind. No, uh, traffic is pretty terrible. Um, fire protection. Wait, so even when I add in two little fire departments. Uh, oh, hey, is it uh, Ziok? How are you doing today? Sorry, I didn't see you in the chat there. I saw Sparkle Bottoms, but I did not see. Uh, I didn't see that was you. Yeah, that's a pretty bad road. Let's go ahead and add office spaces. Yoink. I think this needs to be industry. So you can pollute the water more. You were looking for a bit yesterday? Okay, no worries. That's fine. That's a, that's a completely legitimate strategy. Um, you know what, guys? I, I can't do this. I can't, um... I'm sorry, guys. I can't, uh... I can't provide smoke detectors to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, quick save. That's actually, a sludge from our, uh, our water treatment plants, or drain pipes. And so it's basically human refuse and other whatever gets flushed down the toilet. Or put in, uh, your water pipes. Yes. What are these guys saying? We need more dudes. 
Not enough workers? Okay. Uh, shoot. This is still my finest hour, I think. <laughs> Just because it's so wacky. Ugh. What happens if I break this arm of it? I'm just curious. I wonder if that'll help. Because now these guys will have to go the opposite way if they want to get there. Yeah, okay, let's see. We're, we're doing okay. Um, hmm. These guys are a little pissed that we uh, got rid of the, the fire, um, of the free smoke detectors. But honestly, how is that my problem? These guys are all complaining about workers, though. I should guess we should probably do a bus. So let's see. So let's do a bus stop uh, in Slurry here and here. And then uh, here, 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 here. Here. We'll put one at like each arm, as it were, of this thing. Isn't that a complete stop? How do I... There we go. That might help a little bit too. Yeah, see now it looks like we've got... Now the problem is now everyone is just where are these guys even coming from? I don't know that that helped us actually destroying that road connection. Cuz now everyone's just getting backed up here unfortunately. Oh man, that's such a bummer. How are we doing? Yeah, this whole area is screwed up now. And this road is useless. All right. Yeah, that's, that's not the Fine, take your road back. Look at all these buses. How are we doing on our transport anyway? Ah, I, we've got a couple, uh, a few hundred people taking the bus. That's not bad. No specialization. Okay, so for Sparkle Bottoms, we're gonna go ahead and do. Um, let's just hang on to it for now. I don't know. Power is right on the line. Water treatment is right on the line. Garbage is. Uh, well, technically, we should be able to get more incineration, but it's not happening really. How are we doing for health? We've got a lot of sick citizens, unfortunately. Well, they can suck it up. Okay, um, right. Okay, let's let's make some uh, let's make some nice houses. Right, we're, that's right. We're going over here to build our um, stuff. Can we get it up there somehow. Maybe off to the side. We go up here. Notch or two? Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. 
I don't like this though, because uh, we're we're gonna have to have a road going off here that goes like does like crazy stuff that basically like winds down the mountain and gets connects back over to the highway somehow. But uh, it'll be okay for now. So Upper Sparkleton. So we're gonna do. Um, let's try the strat the um, the spoke strategy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one straight line that goes straight through the area, and it's gonna cost us an arm and a leg and a left testicle. It's very expensive. So we're gonna have one big road that goes all the way through. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, um, a number of just like small roads that that uh, break off from this one. Uh, let's see here. And so now what we want is um, we will have essentially these circular roads that sort of break, branch off. So they'll be, they'll be they'll be very small. Or no, no, I've got an idea. How about this, guys? So we're gonna go uh, so right in the center of the area. We're gonna do another road that's straight that goes out like this. It's not quite right. I think it needs to be here. I like that. And now we'll have just the small roads branch off from that one. So now almost all of our roads will be uh, I like this. This is sort of fun. So now we can have nice straight roads that are short. Oops, on time. Ooh, look at how pretty that looks. Those aren't curved roads. <laughs> we're just try we're trying something different. We're we're experimenting. Oops. Nope. Right by the tree. Although my hero city is calming down a lot. <laughs> uh, God, my, my eye keeps watering. I'm sorry, guys. I have to keep stopping for a second. I don't know what, what the problem is. I think I just got a bunch of sunscreen in it the other day. Hasn't been the same since. Okay. So now this is all going to be really nice, like, high-density residential uh, zoning. And so we'll have to add some, we'll add some parks and stuff. It'll be really great. Should have got gunners. I'm too poor for that. The health and safety needs some looking at here. Uh, what, what do you mean? Actually, I think it's this, this one. Can we really not line up the last road properly? Oh, that's so sad. That's good though. Like that. See, I really want, I guess, this square. Flux helps a lot. Okay, we've got our new area. Upper Sparkleton will be built out. Unfortunately, uh, for Upper Spark up Upper Sparkleton, they have no water yet. There we go. Not enough money. There we go. It's a program that reduces blue light from your monitor during nighttime hours. Oh, interesting. 
It's not that dark right now outside, but I do have my blinds closed, so. And we pro they're probably going to be whiny and want electricity or something, aren't they? There we go. Also, speaking of electricity, we're almost out. So we're going to need to save up for a while to reinforce our... Actually, can we just tinker with our budget just slightly? Yeah, let's increase let's increase our budget by 10%. How's that sound? Uh, and let's increase our... Let's decrease our police by 10%. Mm. Hey, Baron Von Umbren, how you doing today? These roads are completely safe. What are you talking about? I mean, they go a little bit close to the cliff. I mean, right? Yeah, so probably what we're going to end up doing is we're probably going to end up... Oh, it's going pretty well. We are just under 30,000 people. Our budget's a little bit tight right now, but uh, I guess I can give you the tour. So right now we just, we just produced, uh, we just built out Sparkle Bottoms. And so this is sort of the new commercial area. It's all, it's all heavy commercial and a little bit of uh, office space. Then there's the Golden District, which is a nice mix of residential and, com and office space. And it also has the university of the area. And then uh, Zinchenko's Landing is the first area that we started with, and it has probably the best road system ever. Um, it's mostly light residential with a little bit of commercial in there. And then this old industrial area we repurposed to be, um, to be high density residential. Unfortunately, the people are kind of sick there, as you can see with the little death signs, um, because there's still pollution in the ground from the industry. And then we've got Slurry, which is kind of like our slums. So it's a high density residential surrounded by heavy industry. And then we've got uh, the Darkest Dungeon region. Uh, the Darkest Dungeon region is, is entirely industry, and you'll notice that it just has this one it has one winding road along the edge that has all the buildings next to it, and then the highway all the way around. And so it's basically import export. Um, yeah, so this is a custom map. It's called uh, Keen's Landing. The next area is going to be the Quick Save Center. Yeah, sure, I'm down. We can do that. Um, right. Yeah, so far the darkest dungeon has pretty good traffic. If you'll note, like it's it's got it's pretty heavy, but it because it's all heavy industry. Oh, and then we also have floating point. So floating point is sort of a medium and nice area with a lot of he heavy high density. Uh, High density uh, housing. There's a little bit of commerce up here too, I think. Yeah, there are like a few office buildings and stuff, but it's mostly residential. And so this is sort of a nice mix. This is a nice area up on the hill. Yeah, it's, it's a very cool custom map. I, I don't really like the default maps in this game. Personally, I find them extremely boring because they're almost entirely flat. Uh, whereas the stuff like this, it sort of forces you to build, you know, wacky curved roads and stuff just to get stuff connected. Like, check out this, uh, check out this uh, highway connection between the Golden District and uh, Sparkle Bottoms. Like, this is a super scary road. <laughs> I don't know, it's like straight out of... It's like what would happen if Mordor had a, you know, a mayor that's about as good as I am. Okay, anyway. But yeah, so Sparkle Bottoms is slowly getting built up, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and build a little bit more in terms of... Um, Let's build out the water for the rest of Sparkle, the, what is, not, not Upper Sparkle, and Upper Sparkle 10, excuse me. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to make it not look like swastikas, but it just kind of happened. Okay, and then, yeah, so this is all heavy, um, heavy residential, which no one's moved into yet. Uh, I think we're okay, though. Let's just do something like that. I think it's just that we have low residential demand right now. So we need the quick save center. Okay. So what, um... The Mordor superhighway, <laughs> that's right. 
Those last couple of battles would have gone quite a bit differently had the uh, had the orcs had access to a nice highway system so they could move faster. Although they run pretty fast anyway, so whatever. Hmm. Wait. Oh, the spruce residence is getting built up. Awesome. So somebody lives here. Good old spruces. Or spruce eye. I don't know how that works. <laughs> the orcs probably have bad road rage. That's right. Uh, so how are we doing? We still have pretty low demand. Oh, hey. For industry or offices. Okay. You know what? Didn't we go and... I'm going to go ahead and add some new water pipes over here, guys. And then we're going to put some office space down here. I like the I Oh, actually, I did do this. That's what I thought. Just no one's ever... No one's gone down and then built down there yet. I'm a, I want these to be offices because I like the idea of having these offices right on the, on the uh, coast of this wasteland, as it were. And now we, I think we're going to need power, too. There we go. Many Bothans died bringing us that road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Office is right next to the Poop River. That's right. Yeah, that'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I like how this one, how these guys decided to build an office like not next to the electricity. I don't know. It just seems goofy. Let's go ahead and do this here. There we go. Have your electricity. We built it just for you guys. The Trident Accounting Office. Uh, we are super dangerous. Oh, actually, we're okay on power. Uh, water treatment, though. We should build another water treatment plant, guys. Let's go ahead and build it out right now while we have the cash. There we go. It's working? Not uh, there we go. Operating normally. Cool. That should be super high now. Yeah, water treatment's good. What you don't want your office building to right be right next to the poop river? And honestly, we're we're getting closer. Like we could destroy these guys and get cleaner uh, water treatment plants. This is pretty good. Draining is. 139,000 cubic meters. And this is about a thousand. This is so so the, just sludging it into the river is, is cheaper generally, but uh, it also can have adverse effects on the land and health of your people, so. So we've got a couple of water treatment plants. This area would smell really terribly, by the way. Um let's see here. How's Upper Sparkleton doing? I've got a few buildings going. Hmm. Okay, quick save. So where should the quick save center be? Is it like a center of commerce, a center of residency? Like what what do what what do we, what do we know about the quick save center? I need to know so I know where to place it. It's a commerce district? Okay. Not enough money. Oh my gosh. Okay. So for Sparkle Bottoms, I want to check out its policies. I think we want... Um, Uh, we want a we want a big business benefactor for this region. So this is going to hurt our income initially, and then we want 
A tax break. Oh gosh, it's a commerce district with only Apple stores? Sounds terrible. <laughs> How about on top of, so, uh, how about, uh, let's see, where do we want to put it? I kind of want to put it up here <laughs> on this little mountain. I just don't know how we're going to get up there. There are going to be some windy roads. Not enough customers. Why don't you have enough customers? You know what, guys, while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and um, let's add some bus stops here. That'll, that'll make these guys happier, too. Yay, bus stops. Okay. And then complete the line. Okay. Not enough customers, okay. Zero jobs available though. They probably want they probably want services too, don't they? Some jerks. Oh dear. Crime? What? So we need more customers? Okay. So we need more people and tourists. A posh mall. One of the fancy malls for all the fancy people. Requirement for building a Hadron Collider. Okay. Mall of Moderation. Okay. Interesting. I don't have a Metro, uh, Baron Von Umbren. I do have some buses, though, and I do have a... I don't think I have the cargo ship going, but I do have the, um... I do have the train station going, and this is getting me quite a bit of freight. I think, maybe. Where can I see that? Uh, train. Yeah. That's not, that's not the freight one. This is going okay so far. I don't know. Sparkle Bottoms isn't quite hitting it off as well as I'd like, and now we're losing money, which is bad. We're like right on the edge. We're gonna have to start cutting services. Um, like water and trash. And uh, let's cut our police by 20% too. And fire by 10%. There we go. We've got some cash now. Woo woo. <laughs> That's right. We still we still have t 
tons of water available though, so I'm not really concerned with it. We were just overspending, really. Not quite sure what these guys are thinking. How's our traffic doing overall? Overall, it's pretty good, really. Um, the only really problem area is right here, and I don't think there's a way around it just because hills. <laughs> like, this, these hills just do wacky things. So, I love these roads, how they, they snake over one another. It's really awesome. Um, let's see, what else do we want? And this road is just amazing. This allows uh, this allows heavy indus heavy industry trucks to go straight to our industrial park area, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know, guys. This is not going very well. I'll be honest. We're getting to the point where we can't really expand um, very quickly or very effectively. Like all this area, and we're not expanding very very uh, I don't know very well. I don't know what my problem is. Too many roads. This is the best road ever, though. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Like, what shall I do next? I'm a little bit at a loss here. I'm making a little bit of money, which is good, but my services aren't great, and I don't know. I could redistrict Zinchenko's Landing for high density, but the problem is it has such tiny roads that it may not be a good plan. I could try out some of the other zoning stuff. Like, I know you can zone for um, farming and uh, ore and stuff. What about forestry? Hey, Rear Admiral, how are you doing today? I mean, I think it's doing okay. The congestion isn't terrible, right? It's just we have a couple intersections that are bad, like this one right here. And so the reason why this is bad is because these guys, like, a lot of these, some of these trucks are going to these things. Hmm. Guys, what if we do this? What if we completely redistrict slurry for high density residential? stuff and then we build out a new industrial park over here because that will make it so that these people will stop getting sick which is good um, it will lose a lot of interest industry but then we can gain it back I think from over here I don't know I just don't think that this is I think that having these trucks having to go through here is a problem and so if I do, if I make all of this residential, all these trucks will then choose this road, you know, probably, right? And then, um, incineration plant. I don't know. Does anyone have a, uh, a preference about that, that redistricting idea? Or maybe even just check for resources? Okay. Uh, natural resources, there's, there's some fertile land here. Not much though. And unfortunately there's some fertile land under Darkest Dungeon, but uh, yeah, we can't really do anything about that now. What's this ore? Looks like we have a little bit of ore in this corner. 
And there goes my power. No. Why is my power off here? Not enough electricity. Yeah, there is. Did we break it somehow? Oh, really? Oh, that's annoying. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and build up um, some of the space for this new industrial park first. And then we can... Um, and then we'll do the redistricting, I think. I mean, we could do, like, tree... We could do the tree stuff. Uh, whoops, what is it? Like, that's not really... Ne that's not enough trees, I don't think, to make it worth it. 